<laughs> Why are you laughing at? You did clean my foot. Oh. Did you know that food is also another polysomous word? Oh really? Well let's explore the meanings then. Well for a start like I just tickled your foot and your foot is the last part of the leg when someone is standing. Well yes that is right. Now kids can you think of any other meaning of the word foot? Yes, you're sitting on the chair and the foot of the chair refers to the lower end of the leg of a chair or it can also be used for the lower end of the leg of a table. No. Can you think of any other meaning, Alex? Oh yes, yes. You know, we like to hang out, you know, by the meadows and the lavender at the foot of the mountain or the hill. Do you remember that? Oh yes, and that's right kid, the lowest part of a mountain or hill is known as the foot of the mountain. See, look at the picture, the lavenders are situated at the foot of the mountain. Aren't they beautiful? Well, did I hear somebody say the foot of the bed? If that's what you said, then yes, you are on the right track. The end that is lower or opposite the head is known as the foot. In this case, looking at the bed, the opposite of the head of the bed is known as the foot of the bed. Last but not least, have you ever heard of the measurements done in foot? Well, any units of length based on the length of the human foot can also be used to measure objects. We have ventured and explored the different meanings which are related by the word food. Now, how are they related, kids? Think. Bravo! Great! I hear you say they are related in terms of location. Excellent! Boy, am I so glad that all of you have understood what it means by Polysemy and what are the polysemous word? Surprise! It's quiz time! Answer the following questions carefully. The first question Polysemy is having A. The same form of words with different unrelated meanings, B. Different form of words with the same meaning, C. The same form of word with different related meanings. Or D, the same form of words with the different pronunciation. If you said the answer was C, the same form of word with different related meanings, you are absolutely right. Remember, polysemy is having the exact same form of word, which has multiple meanings which are related. Question 2. Our eyes, the eye of the potato, and the eye of the needle are related in terms of A. Function B. Location C. Structure or D. All of the above The correct answer is C. Structure How are they related by structure? You see the shape of our eyes and the shape of the eye of a potato and the shape of the eye of needle are all similar. Question 3. The spine of a book is similar to our spine in terms of A. Location and function B. Function and structure C. Structure and location or D. Structure, location and function The answer is A, location and function. You see, the spine of the book holds the pages together. And so does our spine because it holds our bones together. Hence, they are similar in terms of function. But if you take a look at the location of the spine of a book, it is similar to the location of where the spine is on our body. Question 4. 
Listen to the passage below and choose the best polysemous word to replace the blanks. Both Ed and Eddie climbed the hill with their backpacks on their... It took them half an hour to reach the... of the hill to have a sip of water and a short rest. Ed's were aching carrying the heavy backpack filled with their camping supplies. Which of these words do you think fit in all the blanks? Is it A. Foot B. Shoulder C. Eye or D. Back? If you think the answer is shoulder, great job! That's the right answer! Now we've come to the last part. This is an extension activity for you to show to your teacher on the next English lesson. This is what you need to do. First, think of a word which is polysemous. You can either use parts of your body or any other polysemous words that you can think of. Remember, polysemous words need to be the exact same form of word but with multiple related meanings either in terms of structure, in terms of function, or in terms of location. Next, write a short story using the word that you have chosen. Make it funny and as creative as you can. Share it with your teachers and classmates in the next lesson. Enjoy! I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to... I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it, move it. She like to move it, move it. He like to move it. I guess to love with the word original King Julian. What a guess, man! I love how all the girls they love to move their body. When you move your body, you know move it nice and sweet and sassy. Right?